Welcome to basic power system analysis using PSSE. In this lecture, we are going to discuss per unit system. First of all, let's discuss why do we want per unit system. So per unit system is required because if we want to solve any transmission network or any electrical network, we have to deal with different kind of quantities. Generator, it is going to have its own uh, quantity. For instance, the capacity of a generator may be 100 MVA or 200 MVA or 300 MVA. Similarly, the transformer, transformer will have its own capacity. It may be in 100 MVA, 50 MVA, 40 MVA, 20 MVA. Similarly, the voltage at the generation level will be different. Similarly, the voltage at transmission level will be different. So, it will become very difficult to solve the equation to convert at each time, at each instance, convert the, quant uh, convert the quantity and move on to the uh, next step. So what do the engineers figured out? This, can, this problem can be resolved by performing the per unit system. So in per unit system, what we are going to do is, we are going to take a certain benchmark or the base quantity. So every quantity, every quantity belonging to that group will be just or benchmarked based on this quantity. So first of all, in a power system, there are four base quantities required to define a per unit system. These quantities are power, which will be in the form of S, voltage, will be in, which will be in the form of V, current, I, and impedance, Z. In general, if we want to uh, write any quantity in the form of per unit, what we can write is that quantity per unit is equal to the actual quantity. What is the value of that quantity in actual divided by the base value of the quantity? What is the base value? Base value is the benchmark or the value which will be selected for um, by, um, by us in order to perform this per unit analysis. So for the power system, we said we have four quantities. So all these four quantities can be written in per unit form like this. S per unit, which is the apparent power, will be equal to S actual divided by SB. V per unit will be equal to V divided by V base. Similarly, I per unit will be equal to I divided by I base. Z per unit will be equal to Z divided by Z base. So every quantity divided by its base will be, will be equal to the per unit quantity. So normally we select three phase base and line to line voltages as the base voltage. So these are the two quantities which will be selected by us. The remaining two quantities that is the impedance and the current. We will calculate based on these two quantities. So from these two base quantities what we can write we know that Z is equal to V square by S. This is a basic electrical equation. So if we want to write it in the form of base, Z base will be equal to V base square divided by S base. So this is going to give us the base quantity of our impedance. So usually if none are specified then the pun values are on nameplate rating S base. For example, a generator whose impedance is 0.4 per unit, whose rating is 110 MVA and 24 kVA, then the MVA is assumed 110 MVA and the base line to line voltage is 24 kVA. What we want to discuss here is that it is not necessary that uh, everybody is going to provide you with the base quantities. So what we can do is whatever which is given on the nameplate of the equipment, we can take the values from there and select one of those values as the base quantities. So here we took the example of, uh, we used the example of a generator. Let's suppose the generator nameplate says that this generator has a capacity of 110 MVA and voltages, operating voltages of 24 kVA. So the impedance on this volt, this uh, power and this voltage is 0.4 per unit. So what we can do if we want to solve the rest of the network, we can con uh, consider this generator as the base quantity. It is not necessary to always consider the generator as the base quantity. 
Usually in system, what we do is we consider 100 MVA as the base quantity and then take one of the voltages and uh, take it as a, a, a base quantity. So now if you saw in the previous uh, slide that the generator was giving 0.4 per unit for 110 MVA and 24 kV. Let's suppose I said that usually we consider 100 MVA as the base quantity. So if we want to convert the same impedance that is 0.4 or 110 MVA base into what will be its value in 100 MVA base, what we can do is we can use this formula here. This means that Z per unit new, whatever the quantity we are going to found is equal to Z per unit old. In this case, it will be 0.4 per unit. Z base new, which will be equal to 100 MVA. Z base old, which is the actual base of the generator, which is 100 MVA into V base old divided by V base new. We are assuming here that the voltage we are considering is same, 24 kV. So as V base old divided by V base new, they uh, both will be equal to 24. So they will cancel out each other. So we will get the answer from here. So in this case, our answer will be 0 0.4 into 100 divided by 110. This comes out to be 0 0.36. So the impedance which was equal to 0.4 for a 110 MVA system, uh, 110 MVA system is equal to 0.36 for a 100 MVA system. For transformers, what we can do, we can convert them into per unit like this. So here we have given, we have the HV side of a transformer, which is equal to 0 0.4 kV. And then we have LV side of the transformer, which is equal to 0.2 kV. The rating of the transfer is 2000 VA or 2 MVA, uh, 2 kVA. Similarly, ZLV so is equal to 4 ohms. Here J is given. It means that only reactance part is available, not the resistance part. So ZLV, it means that we have the impedance from this side only. So if we want to know Okay, this ZLV for this 200 VA at 0.2 kV is J4 ohm. What if we want to see the impedance from HV side? What will be the impedance now? So we can use the same formula, the conversion formula. What we can do here in this case, our Z base is same. What is changing? Our voltages are changing. So ZHV this will become Z per unit new is equal to Z LV, which is Z per unit old into V2 divided by V1 square. So this becomes, we haven't considered S here because S will cancel out each other and it will be equal to one. So no need to consider this. So if we solve this, it becomes 16 ohm. So the impedance, which was, uh, which we were seeing from the LV side as four ohm from, uh, from, sorry, from LV side, which was equal to 4 ohm, from HV side, it is equal to 16 ohm. However, the value remains the same. It is all about perception. Either you are seeing from the HV side or you are seeing from the LV side. So now let us compare. What are we going to get in the form of per unit? So when we were seeing the transformer impedance from HV side, we were getting 16 ohms. 16 ohms. Similarly, when we were seeing the same impedance from LV side, we were getting 4 ohm. So, do we have any benefit if we convert into per unit system? So, here is the comparison. Here we have the low voltage side and here we have the high voltage side. So the base in each case is 2000 VA. The voltages from the LV side were 0.2 and for the HV side were 0.4. So, the base I base what will this going to be equal to S base divided by V base. So in this case, S base is 2000, I base, V base is 200. This comes out to be 10 ampere. Similarly, if we see from the HV side, S base divided by V base, this turns out to be 5 ampere. Here V base is 400, S base is 2000. So Z base. Z base is equal to V square 
divided by s base so here in is in this case 200 square divided by 2000 va this comes out to be 20 ohm for the hv side v is equal to 400 so 400 square divided by 2000 this comes out to be 80 ohms so let's convert them into per unit so z per unit for the lv side will be equal to z lv divided by z base which becomes 4 divided by 20 because from lv side we were saying the impedance as 4 ohms so 4 divided by 20 becomes 0.2 so from the HV side, we were, when we were seeing the impedance, it was equal to 16 ohms. So ZHV divided by Z base, 16 divided by 80, turns out to be 0.2 ohm. So this is what we were looking for. So this is the advantage. This is what we expected from Z per unit. So after converting the system into per unit, either if we see it from the HV side or we, it's, we see it from the LV side, from the per unit point of view, we are going to set the same quantity. That is all for today. Thank you.